Hello, in this presentation, we will discuss the discussion question of Describe the recording and posting process. If asked an essay question such as this, we are basically comparing two terms. We are comparing the term of recording and posting. So we could take the approach of first uh, defining those two terms and then giving some more expansion on what those two terms do, where they fit in the accounting process and how they relate to each other. In other words, the similarities and the differences between those two terms. Now, these are a little bit different in that we're kind of we're talking about a process here. So we got two terms that are related and in a similar process, that process, the creation of the financial statements. So what we want to do is distinguish where these two fall within that process and how they are related to each other within that process. Now note first that they're kind of similar in nature, recording and posting. So first we want to be able to distinguish between those two things. What are those two things? Where do they fall? Which goes first? Which goes second? The recording, when we're talking about recording, we're talking about the actual creation of uh, the transaction. We're actually recording the financial transaction. This means that we're actually creating the journal entry. So what we're doing is we're taking that source document, we're taking that information, we're taking the, the financial transaction information, and we're recording that, in, typically we think of recording it into the general journal. You can even call it journalizing. We're basically journalizing, we're recording that transaction, the process of creating the journal entry uh, that is being generated from some type of transaction that has happened some type of transaction being something like receiving cash or issuing a check or having a bill or an invoice or payroll or any of those type of normal type of processes that would happen within the accounting department. The recording is just the process of recording that, which would include a date, a debit account, a credit account, and making sure that the total debits equal the total credits. So recording is going to be that thing that really usually just kind of is the first thing that pops into our mind as what the accounting department is doing once we start working with recording a lot of journal entries because we just start thinking of debits and credits. We start thinking of just recording transactions when, uh, when we're working on this stuff. Posting them is something that we often do and we never really name. So it's one of those terms that uh, people know or, and they know how to do it but often don't know what it's called. And posting just means that we're going to post or transfer that information, that journal entry that's in the general journal, to the general ledger. So when we do that process, we call that process posting, meaning we're going to take whatever two accounts were affected and uh, record them in the appropriate general ledger account, increasing or decreasing at least two accounts related to the journal entry that has been recorded. So when we do the financial accounting by hand, we typically do that and uh, we just kind of uh, record this stuff. And we don't really, oftentimes people don't know the, the process of posting is something that we don't always name. We don't just always say that we're gonna post it now, uh, but that's, that's what we're doing. And we also, we often even forget what the GL name is when we're first learning this. We're posting this to a list of accounts. People typically start with T accounts and when you start with T accounts, we may, for, you know, forget the name of a of a general ledger account, which is kind of a formal formal T account with more information. But in essence, the process of posting is taking that information from the journal entry and putting it into its related uh, general ledger account. It's a related account that will have more data involved in it, its debits and credits. So if we were to have an example, an example would be good to to uh, also include in an essay question like this. If we were to say um, receive cash uh, of $100 for work that was done, then the debit would be to cash when we record it and the credit would be to revenue in terms of recording the journal entry in the general journal. Then we're gonna take that information and post it to the general ledger. And that means that the cash account would then be debited in the general ledger, kind of like a T account, increasing the general ledger uh, in the debit direction by $100. And we would credit then revenue if we had earned it in the same time period as we indicated that we had. Revenue would then be increased when we post this account to revenue with a credit increasing revenue. So that would be an example of that. So um, once again, if just to recap this, if we have this essay question, describe recording and posting, 
You want to basically describe what those two are. We would define it. Recording is the recording of the journal entry. Posting is posting that journal entry to the general ledger. And then give some more definition in terms of what is a journal entry and, uh, and what is posting. And then compare and contrast them. Mainly comparing and contrasting in terms of where do they fall within the process of the generation of the, of the financial statements. The recording happens first. That's what we're going to do, getting from the source document. The posting is the process of taking that recorded journal entry and then transferring that data to the relevant accounts within the general ledger, the relevant general ledger accounts. And then adding an example in order to clarify that would always be a nice touch as well. If you just make up a journal entry, record it, and then uh, post it to say a T account, that would be a good, uh, good example that could be included to just make sure you demonstrate the knowledge in a question such as this.